In this video, we're going to be opening up some tins from 2019. One has two packs and one has four. These were some amazing pack selections that came out of these tins. I was pleasantly surprised and I hope you all will be too. And without further ado, let's get into the opening. What's good, everybody? It's Open Mango here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be opening up some Pokemon. Uh, we have the newest Costco tin in the back here, and then we have these two tins, uh, and I they think they're both from 2019. We'll just go ahead and check that again. Um, yep, 2019 right there, and this one as well. So let's see. What, yep, there we go. I'm really excited to open these because uh, a buddy of mine was like, man, I haven't seen you do any Pokemon openings in a while. So I was like, you know what? I'm sure the people out there want to watch me open some Pokemon packs too. So uh, I'm really excited to do that. These are some older tins. So I, I think we're maybe going to get something from like the Sun and Moon XY era. Uh, I've never opened this. I have opened one of these other types of tins. I think it was like the Charizard one I picked uh, a while back. Um, and it did have, I think like a Crimson Invasion and uh, Evolutions pack, but I have no idea what's in this, so I'm really excited to get those open. Uh, we'll save these two for the last, but uh, for last, but we'll get into the Costco tin first. So I'm gonna get the Costco tin unwrapped and meet you guys back in just a sec. All right, I have everything opened up from the Costco tins. Here's the code from the collector's chest, uh, and the pencil case had. Lost Origin, Silver Tempest, and then the Lunchbox tin had two Astral Radiance, one Fusion Strike, and two Silver Tempest. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, we'll start with these two packs here. So we'll start with Lost Origin and get into Silver Tempest. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, having a great night, great day, wherever y'all are. And I uh, hope you guys have been um, enjoying all the content on the channel. I know we haven't done too much of Pokemon recently. Uh, definitely want to change that up, but... Uh, with everything coming out and my schedule uh, having been so busy, it's just kind of hard to find time to record all these videos. So appreciate y'all's patience. Um, yeah, I'm just like really excited about all the stuff that's coming out. I know 151 from Pokemon just came out. Uh, I actually ended up getting like two ETBs. Ooh, we have, I think we have two hits in this pack. We have a Banette, uh, Trainer Gallery, and hey, a VMAX Curum. Nice. Was their second hit. Yeah, uh, I got a few booster box, uh, not booster boxes because they don't come in booster boxes, but I got two ETBs and three booster bundles of 151 that I was able to open up. Uh, I didn't record that because uh, I just wanted to have some fun opening with my fiance, so that's what I did. Uh, ended up put pulling like two special illustration rare Charizards and uh, a couple EXs and I think two art rares, so nothing like too crazy out of all those packs, but uh, it, it was pretty insane to pull those. I actually ended up selling the dupe um, like immediately after I pulled it. because so I was like, man, I already got one for the binder. Hey, double Miss Magius. Um, and I was like, okay, I, I guess I can sell that one. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying that set. I've been trying to find some of the product but it's been really hard to do that. I don't know if you guys have been having the same issues of like trying to find product for 151, but I, I can safely say it has not been easy. Um, I'm also looking forward to the UPCs that are coming out. Uh, we'll definitely be doing some openings on the UPC uh, because those, those just look really cool. Um, I, I ordered some from my local game store. We'll see if I get them. Hey, we've got a weird ear. Not bad, we're, we're actually getting hits out of these Costco tins. That's pretty exciting, because typically, as I struggle to get my sleeves, because uh, typically, you know, Sword and Shield sets, it's kind of harder to get hits, but we're doing all right right now. Uh, yeah, but I hope they come in, um, because I want to open up a couple definitely on the channel. With everyone doing so much 151 content, I was like, you know what, should I actually go ahead and do the 151 content i'm like i feel like people are really sick of that at this point so or if not sick of it just they've seen a lot so i want to do something a little different so we're we're doing some older packs we have a dark tricks and hope you guys like this we have eevee great art heracross teddy ursa glaceon and a decidueye hollow pursuing pursuing fusion strike Shout out Cool Trainer Ryan, uh, your favorite set of all time. Not my personal favorite, I think Lost Origin would be mine from the uh, Sword and Shield 
sets because that gear is going to altar just looks phenomenal uh yet to pull that so hopefully one day we can and it'll be recorded on this channel there's been so many cards that i've pulled that i just like <clears throat> have not shown because obviously i've done it off camera man sometimes i wish i was like i should have started this channel like years ago with the amount of stuff i was opening but uh, life was pretty busy at that time, so it wasn't really getting the opportunity to do that. And even though life is a little bit more chill, it's getting just, it's going back to being real busy, which is why you've seen probably that the <laughs> uploads on the on the channel have been so sporadic at this point. All right, we have our Silver Tempest pack here. Can we pull the Altar Lugia? That would be phenomenal. I really want to pull that card. Uh, at this point, I might end up just buying it because it's actually gone down in price quite a bit. Um, so I'm really looking forward. Dang, just these cards are sticking together. Like there's three right there. Hollow Sand and Clang. Uh, but yeah, there was like so much hype around these sets. And I think uh, Lost Origin and Silver Tempest recently got reprints. So the prices on boxes and things like that have gone down significantly. All right, last pack of Silver Tempest before we dive into these phenomenally older tins. I, I'm excited to see what's really in them, and I hope you guys are as well. We're taking a, uh, you know, a little trip to the past to see what packs are in those and what we can pull. We have a Beldum, hey, hey, and then a Lugia V, Mitsuhiro Arita Arts. This art looks so good. I've actually pulled a full art Lugia. Um, and it looks pretty good. It kind of reminds me of like the Lost Thunder vibes, but this is a really cool art as well. All right. So we'll open both of these up and see what packs we get, and then we'll determine uh, which packs to open first. So like I said, I've opened one of these tins before, and what I ended up getting was a Crimson Invasion, I think, and an Evolution, so hopefully, oh, we can see it right off the bat. We do have an Evolutions pack. And then a Crimson Invasion. Nice. Nice. Shout out Game Peel too. And then we'll see what this one has. Yeah, I, I actually have a Vaporeon tin of this as well. I was trying to see if there was a Flareon. This is like, I think 2020 when I picked these up. I also remember seeing like the Cosmic Eclipse ETB and I just didn't pick it up at the time. And I was like, I, I've just been regretting that ever since I think about that. I'm like, dang, they became like $300 a booster, uh, like $300 like for, um, what is it, the, oh my God, I'm spacing. The, the ETB, wow. But we do have a cool little promo here. We have a Jolteon GX. And then, oh, and there's a code on top. So let's see. There you guys go. It's called an Elemental Power Tin Jolteon. But we do have four packs in here and we have some sick packs. We have Lost Thunder, Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, and Steam Siege. Not a bad selection. I've actually never opened Lost Thunder um, and I think I may have opened up one Burning Shadows, and I've opened up Steam Siege for sure, but I've never opened up Lost Thunder, so I think I'll leave that one for last, because you do have the Hyper Rare Lugia chance in there. Uh, so we do have two Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, Steam Siege, Evolutions, and Lost Thunder. This is a fantastic lineup. You know what? Might want to take like a little, uh, screenshot of that at some point, so I'll just lay it down over here like so. And we'll start with our Crimson Invasion packs. Let me know if you guys have ever opened up these tins before. Uh, and if, you know, there's variations on what you've pulled. Actually, I'll just do that because I'm sure it's easier to scan. Crimson Invasion is Sun and Moon, so four from the back. And you have a Psychic Energy. And a lot of these I haven't opened too much, so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the art's like. We have a Digger's Bee. Excelgor, kind of looks like a ninja. Kakuna, Swinub, Swablu, Spoink, very light art on that card. Chimeko, Jigglypuff, 
Houndour, and a B Drill. Next pack of Crimson Invasion. And yeah, and Burning Shadows also has the with the hyper rare Charizard that you can pull. So hopefully, you know, we'll get two Charizard pulls and a Lugia. That would be insane. All right. Fairy Energy. They did away with Fairy Energy as soon as the Sword and Shield era started. Swap Blue. And then they brought back Dragon type. Ooh, we have Aeron Reverse. That Reverse Foil looks really cool. And then, hey, we have a Hollow Beware. Interesting hollow patterning. Uh, the Sun and Moon, just so it, it's like, I don't know, super weirdly glossy. All right, we'll, we'll actually say, we'll start, we'll do the uh, Burning Shadows after Steam Siege. Because I think uh, you can pull like the Hyper Rare, uh, or not Hyper Rare, but like the Secret Rare Gardevoir and Vulcanian in this set. And it's only three from the back for X, Y. Oh, nice. We have a shiny Azumarill, uncommon, dual type, fairy and water. And I think um, Laffy, like X, Y did like a lot of dual typing. I think Sun and Moon also carried that over a little bit, but I don't think it, dual typing was a thing in Sword and Shield. We have Sneasel, Huppet, Fletchling, Reverse Rufflet and a Samurott Rare. Burning Shadows. Can we pull out of one random pack from a 10 the Hyper Rare Charizard? Probably not, but it'll be fun to see. Because if it happened, it'd just be a crazy moment. All right, we have a Water Energy, Guzma. Soul Rock, Plumeria, Noibat, Horsey, Vulpix. Really like these art styles for these two cards. Like, they go really well together. Fantastic. Yeah, and it's the same artist. I was like, yeah, they look very similar. Uh, who is it? It's a uh, Saya Suruta. We have Sneasel, Venipede, a Reverse Esper. And a Lycan Rock non hollow. All right, evolutions. Let's go. Let's pull a Charizard. Uh, I don't want to ruin the pack. Like, I don't want to see what code card it is. So I'm like being very careful. All right, one, two, three. Let's see. Professor Oak's Hint. A Nidorino, a Super Potion, Magikarp, Electric Energy, Caterpie, <laughs> Ghastly, Diglett, Reverse is a Magmar with a nasty print line going across the top, multiple print lines, okay. I do see something shiny in the back. Oh, uh, it was just like the silvering, but it got trolled by the three turds. All right, last pack of the opening. Thanks for sticking around, everyone. Appreciate you all. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and turn the notification bells on so you know what you know when my videos go live. And let me know if you want to see some more Pokemon openings. Oh, I think I see something there. Saw a little sliver of a shine. Uh, I want to do some cool stuff for you guys. Like, I I'd love to hear your ideas and what you'd like to see opened uh, on the channel. As you can see, I've kind of changed up my background a little bit too. Uh, some of the like cards in my personal collection. My personal favorites being these three right here. Uh, the EX Team Rocket Returns, Togit Togetic, uh, Reverse Hollow. Uh, and we'll check these out at the end. So I'll, I'll kind of show them off a little bit more in more detail because they are just beautiful cards. All right, we have a Darkness Energy. Sableye, Electric Power, Zatu, Chikorita, Chico, Yamas, Jigglypuff, Mareep, and as CTR likes to say, Marie these bowls. Houndoom and hey, uh, we have a Zeraora GX as our final hit. That's fantastic. 
All right, not bad. We got a good number of hits, even from like the older stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, I kind of want to be doing this a little bit more where I'm like showing off some of the cards in, the, in, in my collection and kind of showcasing them off in the background stuff. So it's like a Pokemon video, I'll put like my Pokemon cards. If it's like a Dragon Ball Super card game video, I'll try to put my Dragon Ball Super cards in there. Uh, but yeah, like some of these will either be on my, like none of these are on my eBay store, but uh, some of them will be on my eBay store. So if you guys are interested in purchasing, let me know. Um, or send me a, a DM on Instagram and uh, we can work out a deal. But yeah, this Togetic from EX Team Rocket Returns has a dope swirl and kind of looks like a double swirl even like right there. Fantastic. The artwork is insane. Love this card. I think I, I checked the pop on this yesterday. The reverse foil was like pop six. And uh, this also comes in hollow, I believe. But yeah, actually, I saw Rusty TCA Gaming uh, open a booster pack for EX Team Rocket Returns. Um, and it was a heavy pack. Selling for like unweighed packs, apparently, are selling for like 1100 bucks. Uh, luckily, I did not pay as much as that, but I mean, still, I, I paid a decent amount. But this one came back. Uh, I didn't put pull a little hollow in that pack that I have, or I had, uh, but I did pull this reverse rare, and I love the EX era because it has like the reverse stamps. Not all of them do, obviously, but um, the later ones did, and this was one of them. And then this one right here is also a hollow Machamp from EX Hidden Legends. Looks phenomenal with that galaxy foiling. Super clean card. I was so happy that these came back to ends because like, man, I was like, man, these are older packs. I'm buying them from a rando source. Uh, by the way, shout out uh, to, the, to the guy who uh, sold me all these packs that I opened these from. Uh, well, the older packs, not the Charizard. You know, everybody knows Champion's Path. That is the only Charizard I pulled. And I opened like probably like 10 ETBs of that set. But uh, yeah, shout out Frogman, man. If you're, if you're watching this at some point in time, appreciate you. And also, that Clefable was full, pulled from the e Fire, Fire Red Leaf Green pack she gave me. Or you sold me. Um, but yeah, and this one I actually purchased um, raw and got it graded and it came back at 10. I saw this like on eBay and I was like, man, this is a super clean card. I was like, hopefully this gets a 10. And it sure did. Just no print lines, no nothing. Phenomenal and Blastoise is my favorite of the big three, so I'm like super happy about that. And that one's staying in the PC for quite a while. And then this one right here is just sparkling out the A, and it looks like it's got a little swirl starting right there, a little fart swirl. Uh, but just the patterning on this is insane because the border is also silver and the card uh, background is it just blends super well together, it's just nothing but shine. Uh, pulled this one myself, actually, from one of those Fire Red Leaf Green Packs, like I mentioned. And then, same with the Fero. I opened a lot of Fire Red Leaf Green. Um, there's other videos I have on the channel talking about that, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that opening. Um, appreciate you all for sticking around, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!